Hey guys, and welcome to another Bucket Teacher tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to show you an updated uh, new version of B Permissions. This is um, B Permissions 2.7. Um, let me show you here. 2.7 uh, Residence Fix um, 2. Um, this was released uh, 26 hours ago when this video was made. Um, so. I'm going to be showing you all the new features from 2.4, 2.1.4 beta to 2.7. So a lot of things have changed and um, instead of uh, making a basic tutorial and advanced tutorial this time, I'm going to try and get it all done in uh, one single tutorial. And so we have a lot of things to do, so let's get started. So you're going to want to download the 2.7 Residence Fix 2. I've got it right here on my desktop, you can see. So let's go ahead and open our Minecraft uh, server folder and drag the B permissions uh, jar file right into our plugins folder. Start our server so it uh, creates all the files for us. All right, now that's created all the files, we can uh, exit out of our server. Double click the plugins folder and B permissions. So now it, it's uh, a lot of new files have been added uh, into um, 2.7. Uh, a lot of different changes so to start off we're gonna go ahead and open our world folder before we do that let me explain uh, what this is B permissions cre uh, creates a new folder for each world that you have on your server so it created one for the world um, world nether and world the end and if you had a different uh, world called creative it would create a folder called creative and then you could um, edit permissions for that world so let's double click on world and now we'll see uh, two dot yml files um, groups and users so let's double click groups so this is where you uh, make your groups set your ranks um, yeah so let's get started so the first thing you're going to want to do is type default. Um, what this label does, it uh, asks you what you want your default uh, user to be. So when I first log on to your server, what do you want my rank to be? Um, for this tutorial, we're going to use guest. Press enter again. Type groups. Uh, now all your groups will be under this label. Space twice. And now you can add the uh, name of your first uh, rank, and we're going to just type guest. So now that we got guest, put another colon. Um, space over twice again, permissions. We're just going to add all the labels first, and then we'll go through them and explain what to do. So permissions, groups. Oh, if you see that red, that means you have uh, tabs. This right here is a tab. So you have to get rid of that tab so it doesn't show up red. If you have red, um, it will break your permissions file and it will not be good. So you got groups, um, meta, which is a new one in 2.7, and I'll be showing you what that does. Um, and that's it. So to start off permissions, uh, you can add permissions to uh, your rank. Um, so these are called permission nodes. And what this does, well, I'm not going to explain what the, this is a permission node. It gives um, a person of this rank to do whatever this permission node does. For, for example, bucket.command.give um, gives, gives them ability to use the slash give command that comes in vanilla Minecraft, meaning that it doesn't have any uh, mods, so they can do like give a patch killer uh, one one, which will give me one stone, one smooth stone uh, block. And that's what that uh, permission node does. So you can go on adding all these different permission nodes like time set the time so now we know 
now that we know what permission nodes um, are and what they do, let's move on to groups. Now groups is uh, inheritance. So it'll inherit another group, which um, for guests, we do not need groups since there's no other uh, lower group. So I'll show that, show that to you in the next uh, group or rank we make. So now, uh, guest. What guest does, it, instead of the old way of doing it, the old way of adding uh, prefixes was prefix dot zero dot guest. That was the old way of adding prefixes to B permissions. But now with 2.7, uh, codename B, the author, added a new way of adding prefixes and suffixes. And the way you do that, you put it under the meta tab or label. You type prefix and we can type suffix. And it's very important you type priority. And I'll explain that here in a second. So let's add a prefix. Uh, guest. All right, can't type. There we go. Uh, make sure you have these uh, apostrophes, otherwise um, it will not know how to handle the prefix correctly. Definitely if you have brackets. So you d these brackets are not required. I just like them. Uh, when, so it's easily, you can easily identify the rank from the user. You can add a suffix, which I find pointless on my server, but you can go ahead and add them. So you can put awesome. So now, when somebody when they type hi, it'll show up like this. This is an example. That's how it'll show up. And you can adjust these however you like. Also, if you want to add colors, there's um, colors, which are. Uh, you have to put it and symbol so it recognizes the colors. And then it goes A through K. No, A through F, I think. So let's do C because that's yellow. So now this name will show up yellow. But it will also make this bracket yellow, which we don't want that. So let's do and F. So the and F is white. So it will make all this yellow up until the and F and then it'll continue white. That way it doesn't look awkward when you're typing. So now that we got a prefix and a suffix, let's move on to priority. Um, priority will make more sense once we move on and add more ranks, but for now I'm gonna try to explain it to you. So let's do oops, uh, 100. Actually, let's just do 10, make it easy. So what this does, actually, we'll just explain this later. It'll make more sense to you. Um, so now we're done with uh, the rank. So you've made your first rank and B permissions. So let's make another one called Builder. And let's do the same thing. Add all the labels. All right, now that we got all the labels, we got permissions, groups, and meta. Um, we can add permission nodes, new permission nodes, like bucket dot command dot tp. I'm not sure if that's a real. Uh, don't copy me on these uh, permission nodes. Cause I, I know they're similar to this, but I just can't, um, I'm off the top of my head, remember exactly what the permission nodes are. So don't copy me on these, 
because they could be wrong and they probably won't work on your server. So now we have uh, another permission node for builder, meaning that only uh, builders can TP and guests cannot. So we want to give these two commands to guest, or we want to give these two permission nodes to builder, but we don't want to type all these over and over again. So what we do is under the groups tab, which is basically inheritance, so it inherits all the stuff that guest has. So what we do is um, type guest like a permission node, and now uh, builder also has the ability to uh, give items to themselves and also set the time because we inherited the guest to rank. So that's pretty easy to understand. Also, you can add several um, ranks. So you can add, if we had a rank called mod, it would also inherit mod. And you can just continue going on as long as you like. Also, when it inherits guests, it inherits all the meta stuff as well. So that means it inherits the prefix and everything like that. So let's go ahead and set a prefix for builder. So we got suffix, um, let me add priority. All right, now we got prefix. Let's do, same as last time. All right, now we got builder. Uh, let's, actually we're not gonna put a suffix for builder, so we can just go ahead and delete this. Um, now for the priority, make sure you set it higher than the number we set it on guest. Now what this does, since uh, builder inherits guest, um, it the server need to, needs to decide what prefix it uses. Does it use guest or does it use builder since it inherits both? It will use the um, prefix with the higher priority, meaning that it will use the 20 because it's higher than 10. So that's how you separate uh, prefixes and from other ranks from inheriting th them as well. Also, uh, for builders, they will have no suffix because 20 is higher than 10 and we have no suffix there. So that's pretty simple to figure out. Um, let's add a admin rank so set it up the same way as we've been doing groups and meta all right so now we got our three things let's add all right bucket actually what we're gonna do is add the one and only B permissions node. And this is B permissions dot admin. What this does gives um, the person with this node, uh, it gives them permission to use all B permission commands. So they can promote people, demote people, everything that involves B permissions. Um, if you remember in older versions of B permissions, um, Codename B had a, a permission node called build, which allowed people to build or not to build. If they had this permission node, they could build. This no longer exists, so do not use it because it will not work. I'm not sure if he plans to add that back or not, but at the moment it does not work. So remember not to use that. So now I'm gonna show you how to use a uh, negative um, permission nodes or subtracting permission nodes um, yeah that's about it so what negative permission nodes or subtraction permission nodes whatever you want to call them it takes away a permission from a rank since um, actually let's do this first let's add bucket Pretend 
because this is not true. Uh, bucket.all gives permissions to all the bucket commands. Um, again, this is a fake permission node, so don't listen to it. Say we give the admin all the bucket permissions, but we want to remove uh, just one of them. So what we do is you use a caret sign. It's uh, right over the six button on your keyboard. And you type uh, the permission you want to get rid of. So bucket dot command dot oh, ban. So what this does, it removes the bucket dot or the bu um, the permission to ban from the admin. So admins cannot ban because this caret sign is here. So that's the negative feature, negative permission node feature. Um, groups once again. You can inherit groups. So builder. So now it inherits builder. So since builder inherits guest, admin also inherits guest. So let's make another prefix for example. Well actually actually we'll just copy this. Save us some time. So we have a lot of things to go over. Um admin right now you want to set this to 30 otherwise it will use the uh, builder prefix because it would not be high enough so that's basically the groups dot uh, yml file if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and I'll try to help you out on the groups file so but that's basically it